you have shared with us the science of uh, writing your article, the whole process. But having produced your first draft, you need to rewrite. Could you share with us the art of rewriting? Yeah, that, that's a very important question. And, and it's, it's very subjective. So for me, OK, this book that you mentioned, Parabenization of America. Um, Three months ago, I was reading an article and I said, I'm going to write this book. Uh, and I had a rough idea. So I started writing. But the first draft was getting my argument, what do I feel about it, what do I say. Any theory that I already knew or history incorporating that. And so I have my first draft. I have three chapters, I've written my argument and everything. And now, the rewriting was, for example, in the chapter two where I discussed neoliberalism and uh, current economic structure in the world. Now I have to give it a philosophical grounding. Okay? So where does the concept of private private property come from in the Western part? Right? How does private property become part of human self? Um, what did Adam Smith say about laissez-faire economics? Like where did he say that? Uh, are there any challenges to it? So that involved reading John Law, right? Especially the second treatise, right? Uh, we're looking at how Law theorizes the state of nature, but within that, what are the limitations on acquisition? Because Law clearly says that, you know, an individual, whatever an individual acquires with his labels is a part of his self and therefore not external to it. So that's upon which has been built the edifice of property law in the West, right? But then he says that most people would not require more than what they need. Right? But that principle falls by the wayside in modern economics, because we always acquire more than what we need. Then you go to Adam Smith, how does he rewrite it? But what I'm trying to get to is to point out that laissez-faire economics doesn't work. And it doesn't work because the principles that you are based upon are for a different mode of production. And we have moved on into a different mode of production. Now these things, insertion of these debates, comes in the rewriting process. That's where, you know, you just cite, you know, cite Adam Smith here. You just give yourself a clue. Cite Locke. Well, of course, it's presupposing that you're privy to these things already in terms of your knowledge. But if not, you just say, find someone who discusses this, right? And then the rewriting process, which for me takes the longest time, is going back and then embedding your philosophical sources and your discussion and connecting them. Uh, so I finished the first draft in 30 days. I'm still working on revising it. I was supposed to have sent it out in mid-June to my editor. I'm still not done with it. So that's how long it takes the revision process. 